Hello, 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 y'all. Honey, I had to make sure you were filming. Welcome to a very random haul. I've got Buff City Soap, Dollar Tree, Bath and Body Works, Belk, and the Asian Market. So, honey, if you like a mishmash of hauls, you could not have asked for a better video than this. So, welcome in. Um, we're going to get right down to it. First things first, I usually do this at the end, but a lot of people probably don't even make it to the end. So, if you would please right now do me a favor. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the Tyler Ramey channel. It's free. And what else is free in 2022? Not much. Um, and go ahead and hit that like button, please. That's all I ask. Subscribe, like, and also comment, and also share. Okay, we're gonna get right into it. I am gonna show you, first of all, Buff City Soap. I used to make my own laundry detergent, but my Ninja blender stopped working. And so sadly, I stopped. Um, but I still like to go the mostly natural route for my laundry detergent. So we have a Buff City Soaps in town. And so I like to go there when they do their buy one, get one half laundry soap. And that's what it was today. So let me show you the size. And typically, this size is $19, but today it was buy one, get one for, buy one, get one half. So both of these were $30. And this is called Ladies Man. Now, typically I do not get this in. I get Fruity Loopy, but they were out of Fruity Loopy. So I was like, I don't know, just surprise me. And she said, this one smells really good. And she was right. And usually I would not go for like a manly scent, but I don't think it smells manly. Mm, it just smells super clean to me. So if you all have a Buff City soap, it's all natural laundry soap plus all kinds of other stuff but it looks like this right here and so I got two of these for $30 and this will last me a really long time because you only need two tablespoons at the very most per load so there we go there's that um, and then I've got soap on my hands so I'm going to reach back here for a Dollar Tree moist wipe honey and get that laundry residue off my hands. So let's do, um, let me just show you my one item from the belt. Let me do this as a thumbnail, actually. Oh, God. Um, uh. Hold on, honey, just hold on. Okay. <clears throat> so in the summertime, I like to buy from Belk, or it doesn't have to be from Belk, but I like the golf or um, I don't know what the type of material this is, but it's not cotton. It's not, it's very soft. It's, I don't know how to describe it, but honey, it's a polo. I can wear this to closings. I can wear this to trainings that I have to do. Y'all know that polos are not my thing, but this is super soft, super stretchy. I got some in TJ Maxx. This is actually the Pro Tour brand. And you can't really tell from far away, it just looks pink, but up close, it's cute and it's like gingham. How cute is that? And it was 20 bucks, honey. It was half price today at the Belk. So I'll be walking into a real estate closing next week in this shirt and a little cute little short number and a cute little yellow Toms cutest thing you've ever seen in your life. So I got that from the Belk. That was my one little item. Um, then I went to, let's do Bath and Body Works. I got three candles and a soap. I got a soap because my friend Audra, if you're watching Audra, which I don't think you are, but she gave me a $3 soap coupon. So thank you for that. Um, I got a $3 hand soap. I got three candles because they were half off. So instead of $26.50, they ended up being $13.25. Still kind of a rip off for candles, but I will buy them when they're that inexpensive. Um, so let me show you that. Honey, we've not done a Bath and Body Works candle smell in a long time. So the first one I got, and these are all three wicks, is the Mahogany Coconut. First of all, look how pretty that wrap is. That will be so pretty burning, I can tell. It's gonna come through there and be shiny and gold. It's got a gold lid. This is the white, no, I'm sorry, this is the Bath and Body, it's not white burn. Let me spit this gum out. I'm sorry if y'all are against that. Dang. Um, the notes on this one are creamy coconut, mahogany woods, English lavender, and natural essential oils. This is 
mahogany coconut. Your boyfriend, Franklin, who has a six pack, dark eyes, nice teeth, good skin, tan, just came in. You're on vacation in uh, Guatemala and he just got out of the shower but at the same time he's coming towards you on your sofa at the same time that you start to smell his natural franklin musk you also get a whiff of coconut from the outside and the combination of those two is this candle it's mahogany coconut you got that slight little manly smell but not much because y'all know i can't handle that i can't it can't be too overwhelming it's the perfect blend to me of coconut and mahogany. Not too tropical. I don't want it to smell like a mixed drink exploded in my nostrils, but it's just tropical enough to make me feel like I'm on vacation. How's that? With a side of man, freshly showered man at that. So can't wait to burn that one. Second one I picked up um, is Waikiki Beach Coconut. The scent notes on this one are tropical white coconut, saltwater breezes, sun-bleached woods, and natural essential oils. Here's what the wrap looks like on that. Very cute, honey. The coconut coming through. Come right on through. I just said I didn't like tropical drink smells. This is kind of what this one smells like, but not overtly. Mm. I get a vanilla vibe from this. There's no vanilla in it. It's a very soft, you're on the sand, you're on the beach. Maybe this time Franklin is just standing behind you and, and, and waving you down with some palm fronds as he's also feeding you maraschino cherries in your lawn chair. It's nice. It's summery. It's not overpowering. It's tropical without being artificial. It's just good. It's just good. There's that. And then last but not least for the candles is mahogany vanilla. I'm a sucker for colors. Um, obviously smells are first and foremost, but I love the wrap of this. I love the look of this. Does that look weird? Interesting. Um, <clears throat> scoozy. Mahogany vanilla is warm vanilla, fresh bergamot, uh, sweet sandalwood, and natural essential oils. Honey, Franklin done rolled around in some vanilla beans and then got in the bed. Just like that one is the perfect blend of coconut and mahogany, this one is the perfect blend of vanilla and mahogany. This also reminds me of Vanilla Birch, which is one of my very favorite Bath & Body Works candles. So it's just nice. It smells clean. It's manly without being punched in the face. It's just good. It's just mahogany vanilla. And then y'all for the soap, the $3 soap that Audra was so kind to give me, it's Ocean Driftwood, which is beachside oak, sea washed mahogany and ocean lavender. It's a mahogany theme, honey. It's a mahogany theme today. So this was normally $8.50, I paid three. Ah. Honey, this one smells like Franklin just got in the ocean and then came to the bedroom. You're, I'm dripping, honey. A nail, I'm dripping. <coughs> Scoozy. Let me get that sealed up back there, honey. This is leaked or something. Ugh, stressed. Stressed. Putting that back. God. I get stressed, y'all, when stuff gets on me and it's a little sticky. And then <clears throat> I also got a teaser for the semi-annual sale, which starts June 13th. And y'all know you can be expecting some major Bath & Body Works because honey, I don't really go to Bath & Body Works unless it's semi-annual sale. The last time I was in there to buy things was probably the last semi-annual sale. So I don't go a lot, but I was in the mall. I went ahead and went in because I got this cute little pink shirt. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go see what Bath & Body Works has got going on. Okay, let's go to the Asian market. I've already opened these. This is my local Asian market in town. 
Um, these are sweetened rice crackers and you get a ton in here. I'm not gonna taste them because as you can see, I've already opened them and eaten lots of the packs today. These are dangerous because they're salty and sweet and airy. And so it feels like you're eating nothing. You can eat uh, four crackers for 130 calories. And they just look like this. They're just puffed up rice crackers with just a teeny bit of sweetness on top. And they're a little buttery, they're a little salty. They're delicious. Highly recommend the sweetened rice crackers from your local Asian Mart. I picked up the uh, Bulldack. If you watch YouTube videos of folks that do like the spicy noodle challenge, this is usually the brand. This is not the super spicy one. It is very hot, but this is the carbonara version of it. And you can also get this just in the sauce. And I recently did that and it's delicious. I just have the Bulldack sauce of the carbonara. So I really wanted to try the ramen. This was like $1.25. So super excited to get that. I also got one of the honey. I did one of these videos. I'll try to link it below, but this is the ultra crazy hot two times spicy Bulldack ramen. Um, it's just fire scented. It just doesn't even have a scent. It just, it will light you on fire from the inside out. And I mean that. And honey, sometimes I like a cleanse, if you know what I'm saying. So this is like colonoscopy prep for a dollar. Sometimes I just have to have it. Um, speaking of those sauces, I picked up, you can buy just the sauce itself. So it says it's chicken sauce or chicken flavored sauce. You can use this on everything. Here is the pink, which is probably my favorite. This is the, uh, the carbonara version of the Bulldack sauce, five bucks, so good. I put this on salads. I put this on chicken tenders. I put this on chicken sandwiches. Um, I put it on some noodles the other day. It's just, it's, it's good for everything. And then this is just the original hot sauce. Both of these are very hot. This one will send you into the stratosphere. This one will send you to the ceiling of a living room. Um, what else did I get? Two more things. I got the hot spicy tapaki, uh, which are the little rice cakes. And I like this because it comes with everything you need. It comes with the rice cakes and the sauce and the scallions. So I'm super intrigued to try this. I've seen a lot of YouTubers eating these over the years and I was super excited to see it all in one pack. So that might be dinner tonight, who knows? But I got it in the hot and spicy and the sweet and spicy version. I think these were five bucks. Super delicious. I can't wait to try it. I love, to me, it looks like it's gonna be the consistency of like a really firm dumpling. If you're like from the South and you know about chicken and dumplings, cause it's a rice cake basically and a spicy sauce. I'm swallowing hard thinking about it. I cannot wait to make this. And then last but not least, and we're gonna, we're gonna drink this together for the taste test. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. I don't know if you call this Ramune, Ramuni, Ramen, Kimura, who knows? But anyway, I first tried this in New York in Chinatown several uh, New York trips ago. And what's so fun about this is that to drink it, you have to release a marble down into it to drink it. It's so fun to me. This is in the watermelon flavor and it is 90 calories for the bottle. It's a fun marble drink, carbonated soft drink, watermelon flavor. And it's so fun. I'm going to show you. So you open it up. Oh God. You know what? I did this in Dagum, New York last time. The thing just shot off. So hold that thought. I did that last time in New York and it literally fell onto the subway floor. So I, I had to, I had to come up with a different way to do it. So anyway, this is the top and this is what extracts the marble. The marble is there on the top and does this even have the instructions? No, it doesn't. Oh wait, how to open. Peel off seal and lift off green cap. Push down the center to release opener. Place opener on top of the bottle and press down firmly with your palm for five seconds to dislodge the marble. Remove green opener from bottle and discard after use. 
So this goes on top. Is that right? Yeah, because it can't go that way, Tyler. Five seconds. <sighs> what am I doing wrong? I feel like I did it wrong last time too. Hold on. I'm gonna be whiny about it. Does that little piece need to come off? What's happening? <laughs> Fine. Ow. Hold on. I'll try this one more time. I think we're getting there. I'm feeling it. Oh, Lord, have mercy on my soul. It still doesn't go down yet. Y'all, I've never struggled with something like this in all my days. I feel like it just gave birth. It did it. See the marble? The marble stays in this little vestibule because see how it's shaped? So it won't go down, but it also won't go into the lid. My Lord, that was such a debacle. Okay. Delicious artificial watermelon flavor. Love it. And I love the little marble. Delicious. Um, okay. Let's go to the Dollar Tree. Good Lord. Um, let me do the non-taste test items first. Which, honestly, y'all, the one non-taste test item is a pack of plastic spoons. Because you know that Mama likes, Mama likes to eat her yogurt with plastic spoons. That's it. The rest are taste test items. Um, so let's start with the Dippin' Dots Cotton Candy. This is Cotton Candy Popcorn, presented by Doc Popcorn. I didn't even know Dippin' Dots made popcorn, let alone Cotton Candy Popcorn, and who doesn't like that? So we'll see. That other popcorn will be hard to top if you watch my Pop Shelf video. It just smells like normal popcorn. It is very artificially pink. As you can see, I do love cotton candy. The coating's too thick. Tastes like it was made in 1988. Yeah, it just tastes like fruity popcorn. It just tastes like cotton candy in the slightest. It's absolutely disgusting. Don't buy that. Let's cleanse our palate with the marble water, shall we? Now that's good. Well, honey, I've got two more things. This is the Azul Coconut Chips Original Toasted Flavor. It has three ingredients, coconut, sugar, and salt. So we're gonna try this. I thought it was just pure coconut. Honey, I should have known. This would send Mackenzie Hoskins into a tailspin. Mmm, super crisp. Mmm, delicious. They're just little coconut shards. If you have an aversion to coconut, you're not gonna have a good time with this, so don't even buy it. But if you don't care about the texture and you love coconut, well worth $1.25, for sure. Yum. Mmm. That's dangerous because I could plow through that very quickly. 
Lord have mercy. I almost dropped it and then I turned the turn signal on, honey. It's been a long day. Mm. Not bad. In fact, it's good. And last but not least, this is the 100th anniversary edition of the Haribo Gold Bears. And this is in pineapple. It's a pineapple gummy bear. I've never had a pineapple gummy bear, I don't think, unless it's just been included with something. So let's try that. Of course they're adorable. I mean, come on. Uh, 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 uh. I'm torturing him before I eat him. I really like Haribo gummies because of how firm they are. They have a good chew. It's a good pineapple flavor. I was trying to see if there are actually any pineapple in this, but I tore this accidentally. Not one ounce of pineapple in this, just pure chemicals. But honey, it tastes good. Delicious. Let's go back to our marble drink. See, the marble is in its little home. Isn't that funny how that works? I don't know how that does anything, but it's just, I don't know. Delicious. All right. Y'all have seen it all. Thanks for coming to this very random vlog. Shopping haul. It's on my neck. <laughs> What's happening? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all, and I mean it. Until the next video, I'll see you later.